thank you. And that effort to find survivors is being seriously hampered by a fire that continues to burn in the rubble. For days, we have reported on smoke and the smell of fire coming from the scene. Tonight, local officials are talking about just how difficult that fire is making their search. And CBS 4's Mike Cuno is live in Surfside now. So Mike, tell us what is the latest on that ongoing fire? Well, this morning, officials telling us a problem with that fire. It was so deep down in the rubble, they couldn't locate it. Not only that, they weren't exactly sure what was burning. And because of that, the air quality was poor, making it even more difficult for the first responders staying on top of that rubble looking for survivors. We're facing very incredible difficulties with this fire. While rescue crews search the collapsed building for survivors, this is what they're dealing with. A fire buried deep beneath the rubble and smoke that's slowing down their recovery efforts. We have cleaning products, we have detergents, we have mattresses and couches and furniture, and all these things are combustible products. When these things are intact, they're completely safe, but everything in these apartments are out of their original packages, and now we have chemicals mixing together. We have uh, aerosols that could be punctured, their cans be punctured. Any of these things exposed to the environment could potentially lead to mixing and becoming a fire. Dade County Mayor Daniela Levine Cava says teams are doing everything they can to locate the source of the fire. They've resorted to digging a trench around the area to slow its spread so they can focus their search area on spots that aren't burning. We are using infrared technology, we're using foam, we're using water, uh, and all the tactics that we can to contain the fire and minimize the smoke spread. Obviously, the smoke itself is the biggest barrier. The smoke, she says, isn't just billowing up, but laterally. So as we're moving debris, as the smoke is increasing, we still haven't come across anything along the sign of life. Crews typically use air respirators in these situations. The concern is if things get worse, they'll need to use a self-contained breathing apparatus. Miami-Dade Fire Chief Alan Kaminsky says the use of ventilation systems can work, but sometimes can cause more harm than good. So yes, the air quality is a concern. Uh, we still have ventilation fans that we set up in specific areas, and we use them you know, to the best that we can, but we're also there's a concern in regards to adding more air uh, that you could increase whatever is smoldering, whatever this deep-seated uh, area that's still burning could intensify as well. The fire chief also mentioned this morning that when they do lift up rubble, some smoke plumes do come out. And so therein lies the problem. They're not exactly sure what is burning and, and what those first responders are breathing in, guys. Yeah, Mike, definitely a concern out there. I know that where you're standing in the media staging area, you're probably about a block and a half away from the scene itself. But talk to us about the air quality where you are right now. Yeah. Well, I can say this, it is better than yesterday. Uh, Brooke, you were out here uh, this morning. We could see plumes of smoke still coming out yesterday at the reunification center just north uh, of the, where the building, where that site is. You could see and smell the smoke. But I'm wondering if with the rain stopping, it really hasn't rained since that press conference this morning around 10, 30, 11 o'clock, if the crews have been able to get in a, a lot of quality time on this site to kind of um, to kind of get that fire under control. The last few hours you look down the road, you're no longer seeing those plumes of smoke, at least from our vantage point here. Mike, thank you for that live.